Hey guys, so in my last video you requested for me to do more of my spotlight videos, so today I'm going to do that for Coastal Scents. I'm going to mention my favorites and kind of products that are not so awesome. Um, honestly, when you have a brand that you can't really look at, like you can't walk into a store and see, it's kind of hard to make the decision to actually purchase something, especially when you have to pay for shipping, which honestly, on Coastal Science, it's kind of the most expensive um, thing that you pay for when you buy something, um, but still it's a lot more inexpensive than BH Cosmetics, so if you're kind of debating on which to get, honestly, I feel like they're quite similar, uh, but uh, Coastal Science usually has uh, lower late rates of shipping, so that keep in mind. Um, I tried a lot of the things for Coastal Scents that I'm going to talk about. Um, one thing that I haven't tried and something that I would so love to try is their concealer palettes because so many people tell, uh, say that they are so amazing and a great quality that you can even with the darker shades contour and stuff. And that is something I would love, love, love to try. But unfortunately, whenever I was like buying stuff, um, it was sold out. So um, I kind of feel silly to buy it like it alone. Um, just you know, paying for the shipping and all just for one product. I just didn't make that decision yet, but uh, that's something I would love to try and probably will in the future. Um, something that's really good, and then I'm gonna say about two things that are not so awesome. Um, their brushes are fantastic. You have natural hair bristles, you have uh, synthetic hair bristles. Um, honestly, I haven't tried one brush that wasn't good, and it was they're just really, really soft, and I really love them. Um, my two favorites, I guess, would have to be these two. Um, their blush brush, uh, this is the bigger one, uh, is fantastic because it's kind of dense. And you can even apply a liquid foundation with this, it works really, really well, even with those foundations that are not easily blended. And their fluffy natural hair blending brush is gorgeous, I love it. And uh, I mean, I love the short shader ones as well, and the uh, detailed crease brush. Oh. Their brushes are just really, really good, and I prefer these even than, better than some of my more expensive ones. And um, these are really comparable to MAC quality brushes because they're really sturdy. I wash them all the time because I'm really kind of freaky about washing my brushes. And they haven't lost uh, their shape or their soft softness or anything, so I definitely recommend their brushes. Now one thing that I'm not a huge fan of is something that I gave to my sister, which is their liquid liner. Um, it's just a classic liquid liner, nothing wrong with the formula, but it stinks so bad. I just couldn't deal with the smell. I mean, it's I don't feel like why I mean why couldn't they like make it smell better? Um, but if you don't mind the smell for the price, I feel like it's a really good eyeliner. Their mineral um, blushes as well. Um, okay. Just a bit too messy for me. I'm not a huge fan of their uh, mineral blushes. However, their palette of blushes, this is the first edition one, is fantastic. The pigmentation is ridiculous and the quality is amazing. You really do not need a lot to get like a nice color uh, to your cheeks. I'm wearing this shade right now and um, I just really think, I mean, you get like 10 colors for really not a lot of money. I'm, I don't know the prices off my head, so I'm going to put them somewhere on the screen so you can know exactly how much they are. But I love their blush palettes. I feel like uh, my everyday palette that I used in so many of my tutorial is their Real, Reveal palette. And this just comes with a lot of different like neutral shades. Um, shimmering, matte, whatever. Um, they're just really great and again, fantastic pigmentation and quality and everything is just really really amazing. Um, I feel like if you are a fan of those neutral shades that you'll be just fine with this one but if you are a fan of many different colors and if you can never get enough of colors then I'd say go for the 252 eyeshadow palette which I have a full video on, I'm gonna link right here. Um, this is amazing because you get 252 eyeshadows, it comes in three different layers and they are all equally pigmented and equally great and I just love this one. I've used this one in a lot of my tutorials just because it's really easy to use it. Um, you know, if I want like a light brown, a light gold, a really bright pink, whatever I want, I can find it in this palette. So this is amazing for anybody who loves to experiment with eyeshadows and I feel like this would make also One thing I use every single day in my foundation routine is their eye brightener. I have the ivory shade which is the lightest shade. 
you need the tiniest amount of this and put it like at the like right below your eyes or, or you can even blend it a bit downwards to get the Kim Kardashian kind of highlighted look this will last you a whole lot of time because uh, you really it's so I, I don't even, I don't know how to explain because there it's so pigmented but it's light it's not cakey it doesn't smudge it doesn't do anything wrong it's just a really great great brightener um, if you and the last product I'm gonna mention is their lip glosses which they're okay, they're not my favorite. Um, this shade particularly, this is Challenge Me. It's a corally shade, which is not really flattering on me. So uh, maybe I should try some other colors, but I do like that, that they come with like glitters and stuff and they're really pigmented for a lip gloss, as you can see. Um, but I don't know, I'm just not a huge fan of this color, so I haven't been wearing it that, that much. But the formula itself is not too sticky, but it's long-lasting, which I like. And um, it's okay of a lip, a lip gloss, it's not too expensive. And also, um, if you're into like trying different lip glosses, it's all definitely worth giving it a try. But this Challenge Me shade, I wish I had like, I love pinks on my lips, so um, I wish that I had like a pinker version of this one. Maybe I would like it more and wear it more. But um, the formula is definitely really okay. So that was another one of my brand spotlights. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any other requests for me, because I'm filming this week, like through Easter, every single day. So if you have any requests, just leave them in the comments below so I can know what to do next. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow in my next video. Bye!